It's Steve from itmakessenseblog.com and today is part two of my how to grow your email list using Thrive Leads and today I'm going to show you once someone opts into your email list uh, how to send them whatever freebie you offered them to in exchange for their email address and today we're going to use active campaign so stay tuned. Before I integrate my active campaign with Thrive Leads, I first have to create a form that I want to use to kick off an automation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm in active campaign right now. I'm in the form section. So I what I want to do first is create a form. And I'm going to just call this my podcast list opt-in. And in the last video, I showed you how I integrated this with uh, Thrive Leads, but today I want to show you how I actually created this form. So I have podcast list. They're going to subscribe to a list I already have created. I just have an affiliate products opt-in. That's a list I've already created, and then I'm going to hit create. Now I'm in this uh, form, and when I collect my leads, I try to make it as easy as possible. I only want the email, so I'm going to delete out this section here for the full name. And this is just a, the, the default form. Like I said, you integrate this with Thrive Leads. So you know, I'm going to delete this out. I'm going to remove that. Then what I want to do is I want to go to options because I want the um, whoever gets this email, email whoever um, goes through this podcast lead magnet I want them to actually have to opt in um, and so that just makes sure that I have a quality lead so I'm going to hit this opt-in options and make sure that the opt-in confirmation is clicked to on if it was clicked off that they wouldn't get an email asking them to uh, really subscribe to my list so I want this the opt-in email I'm going to create here, I already have a template I use, and I'll just show you how to customize it. So I hit edit. And this is just the uh, standard boilerplate, but I like to customize this a little bit by adding my own branding. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete everything off this. I keep this button. I just like to, all right, hit enter, and then I'm going to cut and copy. And this is my free top 50 pod cast list. I'm going to add my image and I already have a preloaded image. Click in here, choose this, make it a little bit smaller, center it. Now I want all of this and I'll delete this. I don't need this background. I like my background to be white so then I can come over here, change this to white. Sometimes it takes a little playing around. Ah, here we go. Background. White. White. I want this to be white. Background. White. And then I want this button to be, I already have a save my orange, my standard orange. And you can make this a little bit bigger. Actually, no, I don't want that to be a little bigger. Okay. So once I have this how I want it, I just hit done. Make sure I have my address. You need to have an address or our active campaign will not send it. And then I'm just going to hit save. And then I'm going to hit integrate. 
And now I have my form that I can um, integrate with Thrive Leads. So that is how you create a form with Active Campaign to start your the which start your automation, which will be the next part of this. The second step is to create an automation so people can get the freebie or the uh, whatever you're going to give them in exchange for their email. So I'm in Active Campaign. I'm in the automation section. I'm going to create an uh, an automation, and I just want to start from scratch. Hit continue. Now what's going to start this automation is someone's going to submit a form and it's going to be the form we just created, which is the podcast form. So let's hit submit a form, continue. The form we want is the podcast list opt-in and this is just going to run once. Hit add start. Now the next thing we want that to do is send them an email. And we don't have any emails, so we're going to create an email. This one's just going to be the uh, podcast list. Create. And I already have a template that I use that I've saved with my branding. Uh, there are other templates here that you can use, but let's just use my template. And the email subject line is, here is your free 50 must listen to podcasts hit continue and here's where you can edit your text so I will put in um, just put in something random for now just to save time here is your free list now what I do is I have my freebies stored in Google Drives and I'll show you how you can share it. So let's go to my Google Drive and here's the actual PDF. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to hit share and I want it anyone that is with this link can access this file. So let's save that, copy the link. And then let's go back here and put the link in here. Or we can say, get it here. And we can link it that way. And we can hit OK. Let's just save this for now. Uh, I know this is terrible, but just for the, again, for the sake of time, let's save and exit. And that is the email, the email list we're going to save that now what i like to do is before i move them on to another automation i usually move them to my uh, soap opera sequence i want them to uh, for them to wait a day so i'm going to go to add a new action conditions they're going to wait they're going to wait for a, sp a specific amount of time which is one day because i don't want them to get multiple emails from me in the same day and I also want to make sure that they aren't getting this email um, on a weekend. So I'm going to wait until specific conditions are met. So their date and time for them, the current day of the week is not a weekend. I also want them to receive it on a, at 4 o'clock. Oh, let's go back. It's actually a uh, date. Nope. Keep it in one. Date and time. Contacts. Current time for their time zone is 4 o'clock p.m. Let's hit save. So this is going to, they're going to wait an hour or wait a day and it's not going to send on the weekend and that's going to be 4 o'clock. Once that happens, then I want to start another automation which is my soap opera sequence which tells them all about me and gets them you know just so i can build a relationship with whoever opted into my email list save that and then i'm just going to end this automation and it's really that simple that's all you have to do to send someone that opts into your email list that's how you send them whatever you are offering in exchange for 
um, their email. That is just the way I do it for things like that. There's other ways you can do it, but this is how I do it for my opt-ins when it's just a simple PDF. Now, before I leave this page, I want to name this automation. So let's call this the podcast list. And we now need to make it active so it will work. All right, so let's go test it out. Now that we have this up and running, we have our page, we have our lead magnet, we have our automation. Let's test it out and see how it works. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to enter in an email address. Let's enter in my spam, my Yahoo, and hit subscribe. And success. So we know that it went through. And we can, we can tell it went through. We can go back to contacts. And if I search, you can see that it added me. Now, if I go to my email, it could take a little bit of time um, before it actually gets to me. But the first one I should get is the um, confirm my subscription to this email list. So that is the first one, and I already have it. So here it is. You're almost set up. You just confirm your subscription. So we know that part is working. The form is working. So let's confirm my subscription. Thanks for signing up. Now that it's confirmed, it should move that my contact into that automation. So the next one I should get should be the, um, the actual freebie. So we will wait. All right, the email just arrived. I can click on it. I should be able to click on this and it will download, take me to the PDF. And here it is. Here's the list. Here's the freebie. Now, if I go back to the automation, you can see I'm queued up um, for the next step in this automation, which is what now I'm waiting the day and I'll wait until uh, tomorrow because tomorrow's not a weekend when I'm shooting this. And then it's going to send me into my soap opera sequence. So that is how you use Thrive Leads, integrate it with Active Campaign to grow your email list. It's as, really as simple as that. If you have a website and you want to grow your email list, there's really no better option than Thrive Leads and Active Campaign. Both integrated together make it so easy. The only limitations to using both is, is really your creativity and what you can do with it. And if you want to try Th uh, Thrive Leads, I'll leave a link down below. And if you want a 14-day free trial of Active Campaign, I will leave a link down below for that as well. And if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave comments down below if you want to see other content. And I will see you guys in the next video.